Welcome to Snake Cinema Reviews. I am your host, Prince Elias, and today I am reviewing, first of all, sorry I was gone for like a whole week, like I did no um, uploading at all for a whole week. I just really, the week, this week has been hectic um, with the election and not only that, but just my job in general was very stressful. I had a lot of things going on, so I apologize, but I really needed some self-care, self-love and just, you know, time to myself of not doing anything remotely creative. That's photography and the YouTube. So I just took a break and I'm back. I did watch a lot of stuff while I was on my vacation. So reviews are coming, but um, thank you guys for your patience, but I just really needed a week off but anyways today i am reviewing um dolly pardon's um netflix exclusive documentary here i am um i watched it and it was a very simple documentary it just documented her, her career from the beginning to current um a little bit of her private life but not that much because dolly they said dolly is known to like she really sets boundaries with herself on what she shares um you know personally and to the public which hey the legend she's a queen she's a legend she deserves that right any in all honestly every celebrity deserves that right but some celebrities just don't know how to navigate that but dolly's a champion of that and this documentary actually explains some of that with uh some of her collaborators and musicians and co-writers and producers said that they've been working with her for a majority of her career and they've never even seen her husband face to face like they know he exists like she's been married to the same guy for over 50 years over her career because she met him early on in her career um and they've been together and married for over 50 years and some of her collaborators like joked jokingly laughed during the documentary said i've never seen that man a day in my life and that's hilarious but also i respect dolly parton for that because man to to be known that yes she's married but you don't you ain't never seen the dude <laughs> like that's really boundaries one-on-one -on -one, and every celebrity should talk to dolly parton and see how the fuck did you do that <laughs> to have a 50 year marriage a 50 year plus career and you know people don't know about your family they know you have a family but they don't know the ins and out the details you know and especially in today's age in 2020 where most celebrities like for example cardi b and offset they divorce and break up and separate about three or four times and the world knows about it some people never even knew that dolly Parton was married or they never seen her husband and they've been happily together like that is a whole damn mood that is a whole that is a whole goal that everybody should should strive for like yes i am taken yes i have a family i have a husband and kids but you will never see them like that is dolly parton is the goat every celebrity should contact dolly Parton and see how she does that and how she accomplished that um especially in, in the internet age and today's medias but um but I heard she doesn't even have like a like a smartphone, like a cell phone, cell phone. I heard other celebrities who've been interviewed, like Miley Cyrus, stuff say that you know you have to send her like a a, a voicemail, a voice memo, or um, an email or something to get to her because she doesn't have the latest technology. So that probably helps. That probably helps keep the boundaries from your fans, from the public to your private life. That probably helps a lot too that you're not engaged with. The latest and greatest social medias but anywho this documentary was very simple it documents it her career a little bit of her life but not really but her career how she started with music and writing songs and um being an actress and all these other things and um and even though it was simple it was still engaging it was still entertainment and it's very informative and very inspiring regardless of what you want to do in life whether it's in the creative field the music field um whatever i feel like anybody could especially women out there women um could watch this documentary and you know just be inspired because dolly pardon 
uh, blew up in an age where, you know, in music, misogyny, I mean, misogyny is still around, but it was very, very rampant back in those days, especially in country music, country, the bluegrass, the the mountain music, all that stuff, like country, to be Dolly Part, and um, in that time frame, like, in the way she navigated her career to where record labels couldn't fuck her over, like, <laughs> and, and screw her over and bad contracts and shit, it was like, like, she really, really was, is the GOAT, and really was that bitch, that, like, and I say that in a positive way, way not in a negative like y'all know what I mean when I say she's that bitch like the head bitch in charge the boss lady like she she really like set the tone for how women should navigate through the music industry if that makes sense like standing up for yourself not selling your rights to your music to certain people and like so many like elvis what what i didn't know that i learned in this documentary um is that elvis wanted to buy i will always love you um or his management company or whatever they wanted the rights to i will always love you because he wanted to record that and sing that and she said no she held on to that record she held on to that song um and rightfully so and she ended up, you know, and it nobody covered it until Whitney Houston covered it 20 years later. You know, Elvis wanted the record. A whole bunch of people wanted the record. But she said no. She held off and sat on it. Of course, she recorded and sang her rendition long before we, we had that. Um, but she, for other people, she said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to keep my rights. I'm not going to sell it to anybody. No publishing company. This going to remain with me. Then 20 years later you know, she sold it or, you know, allowed Whitney Houston or whatever record label to cover it for, um, uh, the bodyguard movie soundtrack. And she said that made her rich. Like Whitney Houston's rendition made her rich, which rightfully so. Cause she is the songwriter. She's the creator. And she held on to that publishing. She didn't sell that publishing to nobody. And she held on to it until the moment was right. And even then when she gave it to Whitney Houston, she, she even said it that she did not think it was going to blow up the way it did. And she didn't, she, she was shocked at and surprised at how Whitney Houston sang it versus how she sang it. And she loved it. Like, not only did it make her money, but she loved that version of it and how soulful it was, um, how Whitney sang it. And again, she, when she, when she gave them permission to use her song, she had no idea it was going to blow up the way it did. And it did. And it paid off. So the fact that she held, she followed her gut, she followed her instincts and she held on to a song for over 20 years before allowing anybody else to sing it. And it made her that much money. Dolly Parton is the goat, man. <laughs> when people talk about legends in the music business I feel like nobody give her enough flowers. Like she really, not only did she set the tone for a lot of things, not just in country, but when she crossed over to the mainstream, like she really inspired a lot of artists, a lot of people. Jolene is another great example. So many people have covered that song from all, from rock, rock artists to pop to R and B like it, like, this woman, not only was she an amazing and talented songwriter, but she was a smart ass businesswoman. And she's still reaping the benefits. Like, and who else? What other country? What not just what other country? What other singer, musician, actress have their own theme park? Amusement park. Like Again, she is that bitch. She is the goat. Like, I just, I just love Dolly Parton. I just really do. I admire her as an artist, as creative, as a songwriter, as a businesswoman. This woman, and again, I feel like she doesn't get enough flowers. Now, she has fans from all walks of life. She, like, one, there's, there's memes that go around on Twitter and Instagram about how, you know, 
even thugs, gang bangers, thugs, straight out thugs from the hood, when they hear Joe Lee, they singing their heart out like they they've been heartbroken. Like it's memes and stuff going around. Like everybody loves Dolly Parton, everybody loves Joe Lee, and everybody loves I Will Always Love You, Nine to Five, all these great things, works of art that she has done. Like she has touched so many lives in so many different ways, not just in country. Like she expanded beyond that. When you you play Jolie, it doesn't matter if you a three-year-old, a 85-year-old, if you're a country, or somebody living in Nashville, or somebody who living up in London. You hear Jolie, you were singing your heart out. You were singing the shit out there song like you just got cheated on. When you hear I Will Always Love You or 9 to 5, like it's just like she transcended her genre. She, she, she transcend, transcended Nashville like and just Tennessee in general, like she really blew. Up. And I also love and admire the fact that even she is so smart. She used how men perceived her, how people perceived it, how people looked at her plastic surgeries and her body and her blonde hair. And, you know, they consider her a dumb blonde. Like she used that to her advantage, much like Marilyn Monroe did. You know, people thought, oh, she's the dumb blonde. Oh, she's the dumb little white girl. She don't know what the fuck she's talking about. And in the end, she had the last laugh because she's making all the money. She's making all the smart moves. Every idea that she came into fruition, like, made her as the success that she is and like so many people in the beginning doubted her like oh what's this woman with the big breasts and the blonde hair really gonna do she you know she she trying to be a singer or a musician blah 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 and she really like her career says it all and this documentary says it all like she really she's having the last laugh she you can talk shit about her she doesn't give a fuck she's authentically herself and i love that and i respect that this documentary is amazing it's on netflix i give it a great 10 out of 10 everybody should check it out and watch it even if you're not a country music fan i really feel like you should watch it and learn something because this woman career and story is really something to behold it really is and it's something to admire so yeah shout out to dolly Parton. i really love this um, documentary and i respect the queen i respect the goat she is the goat she is the greatest of all time especially when it comes to country music like she's the greatest okay so um yeah go check that out it is dolly Parton. here i am documentary exclusively on netflix go check it out and tell me what you think comment like subscribe tell me what you think of the documentary and i will check y'all in the next vlog peace